Hey all, my name is Rohan Bajpai. I'm a current junior at Westwood High School and I developed a revolutionary app called The Bar. The Bar is a fitness app targeted towards younger adults in order to promote fitness in their daily lives as the current pandemic has completely ruined our routines. The app is completely better than its competition because of three reasons. First is that it's going to be the only fitness app that is going to be free. Second, it's going to be a fitness app that will allow for any type of exercises not being restricted to one type of exercise such as running. And third, more importantly, users can interact with each other in order to provide the incentive for people to actually continue with um, exercising in their daily lives. Which then, the app is going to have two funding mechanisms. First is that the app is going to get majority of its revenue from advertising. And second, we'll, be, we'll develop a e-commerce shop within the app, which we will sell, um, sell exercise related goods, which then I hope y'all can make the bar into a reality for future generations and our generation. Thank you. Woo, deep breath. You did it, you did it Rohan, good job. Uh, my name is Alana and I really enjoyed that partially because I'm a daily exerciser and I use all the different apps and I get bored of all of them. So I love hearing that there's a new one coming online. Thank you. Um, you did a really great job, Rohan, at spelling out the funding sources and the differentiators. So awesome. My question as a daily fitness user app person yeah. is what will you do to make sure that the fitness programs themselves are of really high quality? quality so what we're planning to do is that um first we're going to like develop a website to see if there's like the um, audience for it first which then in that website we will try to like our best from like other open so um, source websites like such as um top of my head like there's like multiple ones that have, to have diagrams and everything which then we'll give like proper instructions from um from people that we know that are like personal trainers and everything like that to make sure that the quality of the exercises are proper, properly fine and also to decrease the liability from us in case if someone gets injured um, performing an exercise. Very well thought out. Thank you, Rohan. Good luck. Thank you. It's good that you're solving for the liability this early. <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome pitch, Rohan. Great job. Um, I'm sure you've thought about this. I would love to hear how you're thinking about user acquisition. How do people find out about the app and um, and install it um, and get excited yeah, about it? Yeah, so, uh, so I've, we've been consulting with some um, app makers and they were suggesting the idea to actually create a website first to see if there's an audience. So um, we're, develop, we're gonna develop the website first, um, mimicking how the app is gonna look like and everything, in which then if we see that there's some audience like that are intrigued with it, then during the period when it develops um, to take um, to transfer all the data to the app form, um, we will most likely get advertisers and everything like that to come in and hopefully like make the scale a bit larger than compared compared to what we have, depending on like if the audience is there or not. So mainly it just comes down to the fact if um, there's going to be people going to the website in, it, in the first place. Total so sense. That's just, like, the Testing the idea first before you spend a lot of energy and time and money to build yeah. something. Yes. Great. Hi, Rohan. I love your idea. I'm also an app exerciser user. Um, and so I'm wondering, I'm not sure if I picked up in your pitch, is there a subscription, so um, a cost? What would, how would that work for your app? So it's going to be completely free. No matter what, we want to make the app more accessible to everyone so they can have a way to have uh, fitness in their lives. So there's not going to be any subscription, no money down, nothing, which the only way we're going to have funding is made, uh, from the two funding mechanisms, the shop and the advertising in order to make it more affordable and accessible to people. Hey, Ron, great pitch. I uh, really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, thanks for having an app that maybe in, brings in multiple different kinds of exercise. So along those lines, can people set their own goals? Are you going to have something in yeah. the app that? Uh, so in the app, we're probably going to have some like uh, created um, standard um, goals for people to have, um, which like in which um, in the future go going on the app, we might de uh, develop it more personal. So in the introduction, you'll be given like personal questions, what your goals are, what your um, health is and everything like that just to make it more uh, like personalized and make it more accurate, um, accurate to what the user wants for its goals. Great, so you can start kind of at a standard level and maybe increase it yeah. later? Great. Yeah, that's what we're planning. Good idea.
And I'd like to jump in on that piece. Um, a lot of apps, and I'm sure Shannon and Ilana, y'all know with fitness, they it's a freemium model. So they'll let you have access to certain features and you get to kind of experience and they get you hooked. And then as Jeff was saying, if there's levels and like, oh, that's gonna be $2.99 a month, then we'll give you a workout plan. Um, that might be something where you can still provide access to everyone, but then create some yeah. tiers where you can bring in additional sources of revenue. Mm -hmm. Cool, Rohan, you crushed it, sir. Well, well done. Um, Thanks, Rohan. Go forth. We let us know when that, that when that website's up, and we'll we'll check it out.